What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. For today's video, as you guys know, we have so much things to do. We have that uh, 2G GSX that we have to do. This Evo, we're currently waiting on parts, so we can't really do anything with this because the owner is just gonna pretty much go, not all out, but um, it's gonna upgrade everything. So we're holding off on this, um, on this Evo motor for now. But today, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be working on this uh, 2G GSX that we have over here. Um, I wanna pull out the motor. So the owner, um, that car has a rod knock. Um, that car has a rod knock, so he brought me this spare block. Um, apparently there's, everything should be good with this block. So what we're gonna do is, all that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out uh, that block with this one. So that's what we are gonna be doing today. So stay tuned guys, I'm gonna go ahead and move these bad boys out the way. Let's get that cold start. Alrighty guys, so I moved the car from here to there. Just you know, I'll let you guys hear really quick. This thing has a really, really loud knock. You guys can hear that down there. knocking so uh yeah let me go ahead and shut her off well, alrighty guys so where I'm gonna go ahead and get started as you guys know you guys pretty much know the jury with what I usually start battery intercooler piping math all the stuff unhook up um, all the harness you know get everything loose and um, drain off fluids uh, radiator um, coolant oil transfer case and we uh the transmission so we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and get started don't want to bore you guys with the same old routine so i'm gonna go ahead and do all that and i'll catch you guys in a bit Alrighty, guys just a little quick update um i have mostly all the harness off already and the cooler piping is off math all that stuff so uh she's pretty much once i have all the harness off and i hook the um uh, like the alternator and the starter Pull all the harness off that's what i have left uh, move the power screen stuff pull out axles and remove the transfer case and exhaust and she's ready to come out guys so uh yeah stay tuned um let's get it well, all righty guys another little update uh, i just got to pull out the transfer case and we should be good to be out axles are out and um that's pretty much it just drain the not drain uh just pull out the transfer case and puppy ready to come out let's get it all righty guys she is ready to come out so let's get it I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, doing this I'll catch you guys a little jiffy all righty guys so uh, she is pretty much out every time I just lift I always come and make sure I'm not pulling on nothing no wires or cables or lines or anything like that. So it should be good right there. This one was a pretty easy one. There's always times where some give you some give you a hard time. But this one was a some this one was an easy one. So uh let me just go ahead and back her out. And then um, we'll start tearing it apart, guys. Alrighty, guys, so she is out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking her apart. So just a little rundown on this motor again. Um, it was brought to me because it has a rod knock. Um, they brought me this other block to just swap it out, swap blocks, and then put everything back together and just throw it back in the car. Um, just a little rundown on this uh, motor. Looks like it has a 20G turbo. I can see it in the bottom. 20G turbo. Uh, I'm not sure the brand of this manifold, but um, it's supposed to have a competition clutch. It's supposed to have ARP head studs. It's supposed to have cams, um, balance shaft delete, a couple of things, nothing major. But um, we're gonna go ahead and open her up, and then uh, we'll see if if it really has. You know, uh, there's there the owner brought receipts. Um, for for car um, has done to it, so I guess we'll see once we open her up. 
but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start tearing her apart guys and then i'll catch you guys in a bit Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start taking a um, bunch of stuff up, a bunch of stuff off the the mortar. Um, we're, we're gonna have to swap all this stuff out anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start with that. So pretty much everything, pretty much everything here is a 10 or a 12. So uh, yeah, guys, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so that was pretty fast as you guys saw I took all that stuff out pretty quick um, It's nothing nothing too bad um, Every time you want to take off your time bell again, I've said it a couple of times, but I'll say it again You know just make sure you're always at top dead center. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin this <laughs> Let me go ahead and spin it because it's pretty hard Alrighty guys, so I have the block right here um I tell you guys see she's pretty bald now so I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting her back together I'll uh, grab I'm gonna be switching off and on between blocks of what parts look better to me um, that's what the owner I asked the owner what he wanted to do he's like just use your best judgment I guess and just you know go from there so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this started so uh, should have everything in plan is to get this mortar complete and ready to go and get her ready to drop in so let's get it guys um, I'm not gonna show a lot too much I might just show uh, the water pump I had a couple of you guys um, asking me <clears throat> if I can do like a like a how to do the water pump so I'll probably do that and I'll probably do the timing so you guys can get a better look of how I do it so yeah guys just stay tuned and um, let me go ahead and get set up and get started Alrighty guys, just a little step by step. Um, I went ahead and put a little bit of RTV around the where the oil pump is gonna, the oil pump case is gonna sit. Um, I already got all this cleaned up and good, and I have the new seal in there as well. So just putting a little bit of RTV around it. I'm gonna put a little bit behind the case as well, gasket, and slap her on. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Alrighty guys, so pretty much all this is done. Have all your uh, timing belt tensioners, the water pump, you know, pretty much everything that goes here. The head is also on, so we got that in. All we need is to throw in the lifters and um, cams and all that good stuff. The clutch also is on. So we're, we're pretty close on getting this mortar pretty much done and um, put back together so we can uh, throw it back in the car and then uh, once that's done we can go ahead and get started on on that one but um man look at the DSM looking all sexy I don't know guys but the side exit really really grew on me I think it looks so nice Evo Evo just being the Evo still running hella good but um yeah guys well guys, that is going to be the end for this video. Um, next time, we will have this mortar in the car and running. So I just wanted to make it into two parts. But um, hopefully I don't bore you guys with just pulling out mortars out of random DSMs and just kind of fixing them up and putting them back in. So yeah guys, pretty much just what I do. But um, as far as this Evo, still waiting on parts. Still have the mortar sitting over there it's just uh yeah guys a lot of a lot of work and, and after this we have two more dsms that are uh, coming in for work so it's non-stop guys just more dsms and more dsms so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did if you did
please hit that like button. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, please go follow me at 4G63Attic. And I will catch you guys next time. Have a good one, guys.